guys. What's up? I'm Alex. And I'm Dana. And we are Better Big Sisters. Woo! And we're so excited to start this podcast and talk to you guys every single week. <laughs> to know what happened to one of the cutest couples on TikTok. <laughs> so, we are talking about me and my ex. Wait, what um, should we call him? What should we're going to call him Hack. We're going to call him Hack. hack. <laughs> Good old we're gonna, Hack. We're going to call him Hack, and we're just going to give you the story today about why me and Hack are not dating anymore. <laughs> because I personally think this is probably one of the worst relationships I have ever been in. In True. all honesty. Well, it's like, the things that have, like, we, that we found out after, like, especially her, like, the things found out after is what made it, like, the worst part. So, we're yeah. gonna tell, yeah, so let's just start at the beginning, because first <laughs> of all, to start off, like, he was literally, like, a an, shy, quiet yeah, kid. Yeah, like an angel, like, I was like, dude, like, are you sure this is your type, <laughs> though? Because you like guys who are, like, screaming and loud, and this man, like, doesn't know how to hold a conversation, and he's cleaning our apartment and taking our trash out, like... Yeah, like, he would do all these little <laughs> cute things. Like, he would come over and, like, buy me ice cream when I was sick. He would come clean our house for, like, no reason. Like, we didn't ask it, but he wouldn't make any types of conversation. Yeah. He would literally just come and clean our apartment and, like, do these little cute things. I was like, oh, maybe, like, yeah. this is what I've been missing. Maybe I need, like, a cute, yeah, like shy, a little, little quiet. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um. But they were, like, there's still, there were still little things about him then that, like, didn't really make sense, like, little white lies that like didn't really add up and we'd kind of just like brush him off because like he'd do stuff like take out our trash or like watch our dog like to stuff like that or like get her like presents and then it was like whatever he lied about really didn't like <laughs> we didn't really think about it because he got yeah for her okay so the first time we broke up one time which i know you guys saw that breakup video and pretty much the reason why we broke up is because there's a lot of little like white lies and then there's a lot of little things that were going on which is what alex was saying but also, he started posting a lot of, like, stuff on social media about, like, me not really giving him, like, that attention. And then I went to go and call him and, like, have that conversation with him over the phone and communicate, like, hey, if you're not uh, thinking that I'm giving you this attention, like, we could talk about this. You don't have to go post it on social media. You know what I mean? And then also, um, another thing was we and Alex were living in this content house and we were, f like, working so hard and filming so hard that it was really hard to see him and I do understand that and we no, had that conversation also, basically he was literally a, had little white lies at that time too and he was literally just not good for her mental health and she wanted to move on in her mental health and then but this bitch literally <laughs> got on a plane <laughs> like two days later and flew out to where he was and got back together with him so that's, yeah that's we... literally got on a plane to to like but fuck nowhere. Like, middle of the goddamn country for what? And for then, what? do you want to explain how he asked me out after that? Bro, he so, asked me? So, after he asked, after, like, we were in Hawaii, which is Dana's, like, favorite place or, like, home. And he wanted to, like, ask her to be his actual girlfriend. Because he literally hadn't done that yet. Like, he was... Because we were just, like, exclusive. Yeah, like, he hadn't done... And he also, like, just had, like, could not think for himself, apparently, because... He, like, asked me to do everything. I literally did everything, bought everything, planned everything, did it, uh, <laughs> set it all up. And then this man just had to literally walk through and do one thing. Like, his only job was literally to ask her to be his girlfriend. That was his only job. Like, that is the only thing he had to say. Those words. Those words. Like, that's all he had to do. I did everything else. Like, and he got up to the car where everything was laid out and there was, like, a heart and flowers by the way it was raining so i did that shit in the rain too so <laughs> oh my god and he literally just stands there and stares at her and like, i literally I'm, I'm look at him so and i go so and he goes what and i'm like yeah like are you I'm gonna so ask me out? <laughs> like it was so awkward just stands there but like, it's just like really dude like for real and then okay the first big issue was we lived in this content house, and it was a reality TV show house, and pretty much we weren't allowed to leave the house, and we were supposed to film every single day from 10 a.m. to, like, 7 p.m. Like, it was really strict every day for this reality TV show. 
And obviously, no outside people can come in because it's a reality TV show. Why would there be other people wandering around the house? Also, those people were just, like, super strict. And we'll get more into that, like, later. In, in a different in podcast? A different, yeah. But, yeah. Like, so, we literally couldn't have anyone over and we couldn't leave. Like, it wasn't like a... Like we had a choice, like it was yeah. literally just our rules, and like we didn't, we like we we weren't paying for like the house. We were literally in a show, like, we and we had to sign a contract, everything. So we had to listen to them, yeah. and pretty much because it is a reality TV show, they wanted to stir up the pot for some reason, and they had my other ex move into the house, and we were like, come on, and it was like clearly I didn't know he moved in like what three days after we moved in, and we like had no idea. No, and like, literally a day after, actually. Yeah, it like, was, what? like... But, like... But that was, like... It wasn't, like, a problem, though, because, to be honest, they didn't, like, have a bad falling out. Yeah. She literally had left him for one of her other exes. Like, yeah, so it's it not wasn't, even, like, like... He was, like, one of her, like, faves or whatever. <laughs> so, like, I don't really understand why he was tripping. And she didn't do anything. I was literally there the whole entire time. They didn't even communicate. He was more just in his room or trying to, like, fuck this other girl in the house that he's still dating <laughs> to this day. Like, I don't understand why there was an issue or like what the big problem and then was but um, pretty much mr hack got really upset and didn't communicate that this was issue he did yeah. not have communication yeah, he didn't want even to though talk that i would talk it. to him every day be like how are you how are you feeling blah, blah 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 constantly reaching out constantly facetiming him doing this but he'd have a slight attitude like are you good yeah i'm fine yeah i'm fine blah 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 so then he decided to take a girl, and basically this girl is like a really poppin' TikToker, right? And one day, all of a sudden, he is alone with her in a limo and not responding to me. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. And then they go and get lunch together by themselves, and they're posting about it all over their stories and everything. And I'm trying to text him and reach out like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? No response, nothing. Finally, when he gets home that night, he texts me saying, I had to watch her. Her mom needed me to be there. Her mom needed this and that. And I'm like, okay. And then two days later, he posts a TikTok of them basically kissing. And it gets on, like, TikTok room and all this shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is yeah, going on? she has a man and he has a girl. So I don't really understand, like, what his point of... And then she bashes me being all like, well, she's with her ex. And I, on, on social media. And I'm over here, like, not even knowing what the fuck's going on. Thinking that he's just trying to help this girl, and then all of a sudden they're kissing. And I'm over here like, why am I getting bashed on social media by living in a house with my ex? Which, that was already communicated to my current boyfriend that I could not do anything about. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, like, how do you control that? And it was like this whole thing, and then I got really upset because I'm watching my boyfriend basically cheat on me in front of all of the fucking internet. And it's so embarrassing. And I'm over here, being an idiot that I am, going to talk to him in person... He starts crying, starts apologizing, all this shit, makes me feel like I'm the bad guy. And I'm like, fuck, well, I guess we can work through this, I guess. Every time. Like, I shouldn't have done that. And then he went to Chicago. The next thing was with one of his... No, like, he literally was in Michigan for, like, he, like, went to Michigan and told her it was going to be for a week and, like, ended up being there for, like, a few weeks or something. Like a month. Literally, like... I literally just lived in Michigan for a month or something, like, with, without really telling her when he was going to come back. And then he, like, would just say the most random excuses when she would ask him when he was coming back. Yeah. It was, like, the weirdest thing on the planet, to be honest. And like, pretty much one of those times in Michigan, he went to uh, this event, or it's Lollapalooza, and he was with his friends in a hotel room. And he, like, posted something on Snapchat or something and pulls out, like, handcuffs and, like, basically, like, sex toys. And I go, what the fuck do you need sex toys for while being in a hotel room with your homeboy? That's hella sus. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not even there. You're in Chicago. I'm in California. And he goes, uh, uh, when you come, I guess. And I'm like, when am I coming? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, like that shit got me so... I was like, are so you dead ass? And then, after that, he literally was... He comes back and everything's, like, eh, kind of okay. I mean, they, like, all this... They got into a lot of arguments just because he was, like, super... Eh, but he was sitting in bed with her, literally in our house, like, in our apartment. Well, we were completely good. Everything was yeah, so like, good. Yeah, like, dating. 
And he, like, looks at her in the face and tells her that he likes, like, fucking another girl. That he liked fucking another girl in the face. And I was so caught off guard that I literally turned around, started crying, and told him to get the fuck out of my house. Like... And we didn't talk for, like, four days. Because I was impatiently waiting for him to apologize, and he never really fucking did until I kind of was like, can we talk in person? And then the worst part about this is that it didn't happen. Yeah. It he didn't completely happen. lied about it. He didn't fuck the girl because it never happened. So he saw it, He said he liked fucking her to her face. For some reason, maybe to make me upset. I <laughs> and then he never fucked you. her. He never even got the chance to do it. Like, he never even did it. So why did you even say it in the no, first place, No, that's weirdo? what I'm saying. Like, what were you trying to prove? Like, what did... <laughs> I don't really understand. <laughs> oh, no, seriously. Halloween night. Me and Alex... Decided we wanted to throw a Halloween party because this company reached out. And we're like, yeah, we'll throw a Halloween party with our friends. Um, Pretty much it was kind of like a mess. Um, and me and Alex had to actually plan the whole thing ourselves. We had to buy all of our decorations. We had to decorate everything. The whole day was very stressful because everyone was texting us being like, can I come? Can I come? We only had a cap amount of people. We were stressed out this whole day. Me and Hack did matching Halloween <laughs> costumes. And the two things that I asked him to bring was a hot glue gun and two red balloons because we were it. So it was a hot glue gun to glue on the little balls and then the balloons. And that's all I asked for him. And now we're doing all this other shit. And he's all of, all of a sudden making a big deal about everything. Being like, yeah. do I have First to really First of all, drive? you forgot that he showed up like an hour and a half later than... Two yeah. hours late than when he was supposed to be there. He was supposed to be there to help. And he showed up like two hours late drunk. Already. Yeah. So he showed up drunk two hours late and he And nothing. I had to do his makeup because he were it. And I already had my makeup done. He walked in, no makeup done. Um, he luckily got the hot glue gun and all that. But he came oh, he and I asked gun. him... Yeah, but when I asked him, he goes, do I really have to do that? Like, can we do it without it? Can we not do that? Like, I'm like, I asked him two I things for you this whole day. So at least he brought something. And he walks in, and then he doesn't even say hi to me. And I'm like trying to be like, are we going to get the costumes together so I, we can start this thing? And then he's talking to all of his friends, saying hi to everyone. I'm like, let's go upstairs. And then while I'm doing his makeup, he's like, oh, uh, uh, like complaining about everything. And I'm like, we don't have to do this. Like, we do not have to match. I just thought it would be cool because we're a couple. Like, we, I don't have to do your makeup. He goes, no, I want to. It's fine, blah, blah, blah. Ten minutes later, after I do his makeup and after, like, he comes. He comes up to me first, though, before he does anything, says anything to her. And he's like, do you think Dana would be mad if I left? And I was like, yeah, she would be mad because it's our party. And so then he didn't tell me. And like, then he texted would... me and says, I'm at another party just so you know. I'll be back later. Yeah. So after I already told him that she would be upset if he left the party, he did it anyways. So he already had left. And he did come back later, but... No, he came back when there was, like, five people left. Yeah, but besides the... And then we took an Uber back to my house, and it was kind of like... We kind of calmed down. You and him took an Uber just together. Yeah. Uh, Because I had had a car, and it was my sister and... My sister. And her sister, her sister's friend, and my sister. So, my sister and my sister's best friend. She had four, like, like, 17-year-olds in her car that night. So, that's four 17-slash-16-year-olds in my car. And they drove the car, did us. The 17-year-old drove the car. (laughs) I didn't even drive my own car. 17-year-old drove the car. So, 17-year-old was driving all of us home. We get there, and we meet and Dana there, because they took an Uber there. Well, pretty much in the Uber... When we were driving there, I was like, okay, we'll wind down tonight. We'll at least get to spend tonight together. And then on the phone, some one of his, I don't know, his weird friends call him. And he goes, yeah, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not doing anything right now. While we're in the car, I'm like, what the hell? And so I'm already getting pissed off. I'm walking at the door. They have the keys. We get there before them. Oh, we're I sitting there at the this. door for 10 minutes. And he's literally screaming. Like, and just like screaming and rap blasting music. music. It's like 2 a.m. We live in, in an apartment hallway. complex. And I go... You need to be quiet because I don't want to get a noise complaint because I don't know what you're on or what's going on with you, but you just need to be quiet. And they walk up and we're just sitting on the floor and then you can take away the rest. And I walk in and I go immediately to change. And then he's just being, no, you go, you guys have a little bit of like a kind of bit of a verbal argument when you walked in the door. Yeah, because it was like the music shit, yeah. So when you walked to the door, you guys had a little bit of a verbal argument. You guys were like kind of screaming at each other. That is when you walked away to go get changed. Mm -hmm. So after you were screaming at each other is when he looked at me and he was like, your friend's an inconsiderate bitch. And I said, get the fuck out of my house. In front of my, our, all of our our sisters. In front of our 17 year old, 16 year old siblings and their friends. Like, it's like, damn, you really just showed the children that you act like that to her? Like, now they know how you act, you weirdo. You can't hide anymore. Like, 
Everybody just heard that. They were like, what? And he, like, left like a pussy that night because, like, he should have because he said that. But and like, then, like, all these times is, like, the same thing where he'd cry and then apologize and say that he's going to be better and work on things. And it was, like, Yeah, but it was, like, exhausting. y'all were fighting, like, probably three, four nights of the seven nights a week. Like, every time, like, there was, like, a whole lot of arguments. He would just do dumb stuff and then never admit to his wrongs. So it's, like, if he could just admit to the fact that he did it. But after that... There was just, like, small arguments until Hawaii. We went to Hawaii. Uh, So, me and Alex went to Hawaii first, and we were trying to get a flight with him. And he refused to go on Hawaiian Airlines, or Alaska Airlines. For some reason, he just did not want to fly a certain airline. Only fly American. Yeah, and so he had to take a flight out the two days after that because he refused to fly on the flight we were on. So we were there for like maybe like a day and a half and then he came that night and he was like hungry getting off the flight and our friend Micah was there and he we were all sharing a room together and he was all like I'm hungry and then me and Alex were like oh we just ate we'll just chill here and they wanted to go to Cheesecake Factory. So then they go down on the boardwalk Cheesecake Factory me and Alex sitting there and I literally look at Alex and I'm like dude I have a gut feeling bro that they're gonna go drink with girls. Like, I have, like, the weirdest gut feeling. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. Like, you're tripping. And I'm like, true, whatever. And all of a sudden, like, two hours go by. And I'm like, okay, they're kind of taking a long time. And then Alex falls asleep. I literally um, am, like, trying to fall asleep but freaking the fuck out because I'm, like, have this weird feeling. And then all of a sudden... I just am like, I'm going to check his snap loc- or I'm going to check his location. And he's on the beach now. And then, and then all of a sudden he posts something on his story and I look at it and it's him on the beach drinking with other girls. It's like a story. It's the, okay. The story was of Micah and another girl drinking. That is what the story like was really of. Mm-hmm. But like, to be honest, if you see that on like without any correlation, like your, your brain goes crazy and like you could think of like other things Like you could think of that there was more girls there. There could have been more girls there. There you don't know what else is going on. You just saw the small zoomed in click of just that. Like, you don't know 100%. Like I like, said, no communication. There could just be one, there could have just been one guy, one girl, and or and then him, but she wouldn't have known that. Like, it's just like, you don't know, for real. But like... And like, I mean, who knows, like, to this day, but supposedly what he said is that was like, our friend Micah's little date, and they were having, like, a date time. But then I also go, if they were having a date time, one, why didn't you tell me? Two, I could have came down because, you know, your girlfriend's upstairs, and we all could have had a double date. Then you randomly third-wheeling someone else's date. It just doesn't make any sense. And then, yeah, I don't know. That was, like, it was, like, a whole thing. And then he didn't uh, want to apologize or say that he was bad at communicating or Admit that he he was wrong for three days. Stayed in, like, the hotel room by himself in the hotel in Hawaii because he didn't want to admit he was, like, wrong. Yeah. Like, admit that he did something. So, like, if you don't want to enjoy Hawaii, that's, like, yeah, sir. And then, basically, I was just getting all these feelings, and I was, like, knowing that I wanted to, like, break up with him. I just thought I was crazy, and I was going crazy, and I'm like, I keep thinking that he is getting with all these girls, but he's making me feel crazy, and I feel like I'm not crazy, so I just literally need to, like, get out of this relationship, and basically, like, the day before we broke up, he, like, went up to Alex at this event, and... It was kind of like, can you, this girl follows you, so can you ask her if she'll do a song with me? And I was like, since when do you make music? Yeah. Like, when, literally like, no when, idea. Since when do you make music? Dana's made music. She has songs out. But it's like, since when does he make music? I'm lost. It doesn't make any sense. And Alex is like, well, if you want to make a song with this girl, like, why am I DMing her? And two, what if you want to make a song with someone, make a song with your girlfriend. Like, what the fuck? Like, your resources are there. Yeah. And yeah. so then when I heard that, I was like, okay, that's super sus. And the next day he texted me. And he was like, we need to talk. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's going to break up with me. And I'm just going to have to mentally just be strong this time and just agree with it. And so he came over and he goes, I think we should break up. And I literally go, I agree. Because this time, this is my way to like finally be free without like feeling like shit or feeling bad if I break up with him or any of this stuff. And then he all of a sudden switches up. He goes, what? Like, I thought that you weren't going to agree, but we like... Like, how can we work this out? How can we keep dating? Blah, 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 blah. Like, and then started, like, crying. And I'm like, what? 
And then I now I'm feeling bad because then he, I'm like, did I just get played? Like, did he think that I was going to, like, fight for this? You know what I mean? And I'm like, holy shit. And so then basically we end on really good terms. We hug and he leaves. And he, like, calls my mom. He calls my dad. He calls Alex. He comes and talks to me, like, a week and a half later and apologizes to everyone for everything that he did wrong. Says he read a book. Told me that he talked to, like, this, his, one of his, like, best friends on the way to Michigan that, like, made him realize, like, his doings, which now we know was Miss, our guest today, actually. So, it wasn't, it wasn't her, his best friend, it's the girl that's gonna come sit with us today. That's the girl that he literally was, like, my old friend, or this girl from my past, he talked to, that made him realize what was he did to Dana was wrong but we didn't really put we didn't know yet so mm-hmm. <laughs> we just figured that out right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm kind of dead I'm kind of dead that's all okay. funny so and then there's this one girl who's just like we we thought we've never seen her before but apparently we were bitches to her in Hawaii but I'm sorry well for being pretty a much <laughs> what happened was is that Jack would be sending me flowers and shit like like, bears, like... We would be on no communication. I would want nothing to do with him, and he'd be sending me bears, flowers, yeah. like... Like, posting stuff on his TikTok that he's, like, still in love with his ex. Like, like a bunch all of this shit like weird that. shit. And then, all of a sudden, Dana sends us sends me this video, and I'm like, what is this? And it's... And he's getting, like, a matching tattoo with another girl. So, pretty much, um, then, because I don't really know how to explain it without bringing in that part... But pretty much I started feeling guilty that he was reaching out and doing all this stuff for me and like trying to get me back and all this stuff that I, and cause he told me when he came and talked to me that, oh, I would like to take you out on just one official date to like show you that I've changed and like, you know what I mean? And so pretty much I finally like was feeling guilty and bad and thought that he was putting an effort. So I reached out to him and I was like, Hey, you can take me out on this date. And he was like, let's do it on March 2nd. And I'm like, okay, because I was going on a trip. Pretty much then we had that all settled. And then on Valentine's Day, the person that Alex was talking to prior to her girlfriend now, he was hanging out with, or this girl was hanging out with her and then went and hung out with my ex that same day. And then I was like, hey, isn't this a little sus that he's, this girl's hanging out with both of like our past people? Like, that seems, like, a little strange to me. And all of a sudden, she then, this girl calls me, and she goes, you haven't heard? And I'm like, dude, what? Like, and she goes, this girl is staying with for the next four days. And I go, oh, no wonder why he wants to do the date on March 2nd, because he's a whole other bitch staying with him. Yeah, he so, can't do it now, because he'd get caught up. Exactly. Uh, so she can't go there. I literally <laughs> then text if there's any girl in the way, like, I don't want to be involved again because I don't want to go down this road. And he goes, um, he goes, no, like, I just have a friend. And I'm like, well, as a friend, because supposedly he sent into her DMs or whatever. And I'm like, well, like, most two of my weeks friends, before, too. Like, that's not friends, bro. Like, that's two weeks. Like, yeah. And I'm like, I don't sign into my about, friends' bro? DMs, like, like a three days prior also, to hanging yeah, out. Yeah. Also, and, it's like, did you guys just meet and then decide you didn't want to be flirty after you took your OnlyFans photos or before you took your OnlyFans <laughs> photos? Which ones? Which ones? When did you decide? And it's like, I don't really care because we're not, like, talking. But it's the fact that I just didn't want to be overstepping if he had something new going on and this girl was thinking, oh, me and or, or me and Hack are together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be overstepping and being that, like, home wrecker if there's something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But so at I was this trying time, to clarify. At this time, like, technically, he was never, he never cheat like, was cheating on you because you guys were broken up. So, like, she was, she, she you guys were talking about getting back together, but, like, it wasn't, it wasn't cheating. No, you know I'm, no I mean? I'm talking about if they had a, a thing going and I overstepped and this girl's no, like, no, why is your ex I'm just saying on top it? of that. It's like at this time, technically, oh, yeah. technically there was no cheating involved. No, but I'm, like, not, I'm not saying you didn't, anything you didn't, cheating. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh. you didn't know. Okay, so basically then after that, while I'm saying, I'm like, oh, and he goes, no, this is just a friend. It's just a friend. Then all of a sudden we look at our tattoo artist and he gets a matching tattoo with this girl. And now I'm texting him being all like, if you guys are just friends, why are you guys getting matched tattoos on the first day you guys met? Seems a little odd. Seems a little strange. I don't like it. 
Then we have this date planned, and he goes, well, we're just friends, blah, 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 blah. All of a sudden, I get everyone telling me that they hooked up. I get everyone telling me that she used to hook up with my other ex, best friend, and, like, she's doing all this stuff, and I'm like, I don't want anything to do with it because he already lied to me. It's not the fact that they hooked up. It's the fact that he said they were just friends when they hooked up. So I'm like, no, we're over this. I, he came over, and he's posting all this stuff, like, I'm going to be in love with my ex, blah, blah, blah. We're going to have a date, like, saying all this dumb shit. Then uh, he comes over, and I go, and he goes, oh, we didn't do anything. I swear to God, we didn't do anything. And I said, oh, yeah? I said, FaceTime her and say, hey, you're not going to tell anyone we hooked up, right? And he did it in front of me, FaceTimed her, and he goes, we're not going to tell you when we hooked up, right? She goes, no, 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 that's her little seat. And he hung up, and I go, get the fuck out of my house. And so after that, everything was fine, and I'm like, I'm never going to see this guy again. I hate this guy. And all of a sudden, all this shit starts coming out. Yes. So basically, introduce yourself, tell the camera who you are, what you do, and tell them your side of what happens when it happens. <laughs> they just heard all of... Her side, right. and we actually just put two and two together to a phone call that he had with with mm -hmm. you that he had told us was someone else. So now we want to hear oh, your <laughs> side of <laughs> our what happened. Okay, well, my name is Kristen. I do social media full-time, and I part-time work with kids with disabilities. Um, so basically, me <laughs> met... Hack, and, hack. Oh, oh, yeah, wait, you're right. Hack. Hack and I met in May, I believe. And I thought he was super, super cute. And I knew who he was, but I didn't know if Dana and him were officially dating because I knew they were kind of friends. We started officially dating in April. This is a month okay. after. <laughs> so, oh, no. yeah. so that was, all right. Wow. That was really, okay. So I didn't know that they were officially together because there was nothing posted on his social media page. So it never really clicked that they were together. And just like she said, it was back in April. That's literally so soon, like, that's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, Hack and I met back in May, and I guess I had reached out to him, or something had happened, and we added each other on Snapchat, and we started Snapchatting each other, and he would invite me to events, or like, places that I could like, hang out with him at, and I was like, okay, that sounds cool, I'll meet you there, and like, we would just associate as friends, because that's all we were at first. And then I think a few months down the road, um, you know, like a few months go by, I think it started in maybe um, probably July, June, July, he started flirting with me on text. Which is around my birthday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> June, July. And we kind of started sexting. Um, and it got to the point where like, it was so frequent that like, he would call me so often. Like if I didn't pick up, he would almost get like, not mad, but like he would just keep FaceTiming me. Like for instance, I think in December or no, in November, I was in New York visiting my grandparents and he had called me and I was like, dude, I'm with my grandparents. And he's like, it's okay, just go to the bathroom, right? And I'm like, dude, like I'm with my grandparents. And then like, he just kept calling me. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do this, but he's like, so I was like, I don't know why he wanted that much attention. And I was like, isn't him in, like, at first I really thought that maybe you were a virgin and like y'all weren't fucking or something. Like, I, or you were the one that was cheating. I had no idea. Like he was making it seem like he was getting no affection from someone. He was making it seem like he got no attention, no love, nothing. So I just assume that maybe you were a virgin and you weren't putting out or you weren't into something that he was into or, you know, something like that. So even the, I even, I even think that he possibly lost his virginity to me because I had to teach him how to have sex if we want to put that out there. So yeah. Kind of funny that yeah. You that because, <laughs> um, he would call me and he would be like, Oh, we got these new sex toys. And I'm like, Bro, I'm like, what did I just say? In Chicago, we randomly had sex toys for fucking what? And like, we would use it and do stuff like that. I'm going to just say that. But the thing is, is like, it's like, the thing is, is like the amount of times that like we would do so much shit, even Alice, I mean, Alice in the same house, can vouch for how much shit did I do for this kid? Mm -hmm. Like absurd, absurd. Yeah, so, you know, um... You know, it, like I said, it just felt like he wasn't receiving something from you. And I didn't know what it was. And I don't know if like, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know how your relationship was together because he never talked about you. And even if I asked him, it's don't worry about her. I'm like, okay, so maybe they're not together. I, and he never told me if you guys were officially together or not. 
What about the date? Like, what did you guys do that, what did you guys do while we were together? Fully. Oh, yeah. like, obviously, so all we did, yeah, we're like all we did, no, all yet. we did, all we did for just until recently when y'all officially broke up is a sex. That's what we did. We never hooked up in person because that well, would be considered guys, cheating for him. If well, he did didn't you guys, like, actually, didn't you, like, suck his dick, like, a week before we broke up? Yes. Yeah. So that was before. Yeah. Yeah. It was, so, on, it was like, on the 21st. No, right. And he told me that he had broken up with her. So I had, and no, I think it happened, yeah, before it happened. Right. And yeah, he told it was on me, the 21st. We broke up on the 25th. Right. And he told me that he was single. So I had assumed that you guys had been broken up. So I was like, okay. You know, Do you want to explain up. that and how you went over there and with the boys and all that? Yeah. So I, um, so he hit me up and he had went bowling with some of his friends. They were pretty fucked up. I'm not going to lie. And I kept asking, I was like, are you drunk? He was like, no, I'm good. I'm good. And it was so disgusting because he was in the bathroom, literally making himself gag. And like throw up. I'm like, this kid is so fucked up right now. And then like I was on the bed and we were like watching watching um hack play video games. And you know, then you know, someone had approached me and they were like, Are you gonna like suck all our dicks for like this OnlyFan collab? And I'm like looking at him like, what the fuck? Like, is that what I look like? Because I really had a crush on and I thought that I know it sounds fucked up and like, I don't even know why this processed through my mind, but I felt like I was the only one he was talking to. Right. And why, but why did you feel that way? Because he made me feel like that. He made me feel like, like what would he do? He would so, literally tell me, he would say, Oh, there's something about you that I like. You're unique. Like, and, and it's hard because I'm such a weird person and I don't vibe with a lot of guys as it is. And when someone says that to me, it means a lot. Like, Oh shit. He actually likes me for who I am. So I, I kind of felt like, I was like, oh shit, like, it's actually, maybe he's going to leave Dana for me, but that's not going to happen. That was, that's not what it was. It's, it's that hey, you're getting more attention than I was. It, it's not. interesting that you say that, and you say that mm -hmm. he, like, made you feel special, because I would actually really like to know, like, the things he said, like, mm -hmm. the actual quotes, because... The things he would say to her were so vile. Like, I wish you could hear. Like, he would scream in my face that she was an inconsiderate bitch. In my face. In our house in front of her sibling. That's so, if you can think of that, and, like, that happened in our house, at that night, he was hanging out with you at another party. Right. Yeah. So, you could feel... You yeah, do you want to so explain like, Halloween? That was, like... That was... Uh, that, that's that night. we all together? That oh, wait, that was the night he called her. Yeah. That was the night he called her an inconsiderate bitch in my face, screamed at me in front of my sibling and her sibling, 16 years old, in our house. And he was Girl, saying, you know, yeah. he left our Halloween party that we were throwing, and there's a picture of you, too. Yeah. So, like I said, <laughs> we didn't do anything until, until just then. a week before. Like I said, we never did anything. But there was, like, sex thing, which is, like, sex still of course. Us. <laughs> right. Of course, it's cheating. I get it. Yeah, so me and <laughs> had a phone call probably a few nights prior to, I guess, when we had met up for the Halloween party at Kristen's house. And I kind of opened up at him in a way. And I, like, I, I opened up and I said something personal about myself. And then... When we met at the party, he brought me in a different room and he was like, I just want to make sure you're okay and like just check on you. Like, I care about you. You're like a homie. Like, I respect you. Like, all this stuff. I'm like, oh, is Dana coming? Like, is she coming to the party? He's like, I don't know. Like, maybe or whatever. But yeah, that was at, that was at the Halloween party. And even so, we were sitting down on the couch and I was kind of flirting with Kyle. And then he kept, and then, and then Hack kept saying, Oh, I'm a I'm a married man. I I'm married to Dana. Like I'm never gonna hurt her. Like you know, break her heart and all this stuff. And I'm like looking in the back of my head, I'm like, don't be sex. Like what the fuck are you? Like why are you saying you're married to this girl when you're literally sexy me? And I, I'm sure and at the time, like I said, I thought it was just me, I'm special or whatever. But obviously, it was a lot more girls. Um, but I don't know. I like I said, he made me feel like I was the only one, and there there was a lot more. It's right, like, and she's been showing me. Yeah. I mean, so it's, it's it's fucked up. I don't understand what attention he wasn't getting and why he needed to sex like or like cheat because like even Dana would be like to me like why does he, we why do we have to fuck so much like why is that the only form of physical attraction and attention that me and him have to do so if she could sit there and say that to me yeah like why did why did he have to go and get it why did he have to go sex you why did he right. have to go get with these other girls and cheat on her if she was actually actually giving him 
all of those things. It's not like she was a virgin or not giving to him. Like, it was, yeah. like, overly giving to him. So, if he was Maybe already... he felt like you were so nice and so, like, you, did you know all this things, these things were happening? Like... Well, she I, wasn't nice to him. No. She wasn't nice to him at I all. I had a lot of gut feelings when we get into a lot of fights. And, like, when this comes out, you can see, like, all the shit that he do. But he did a lot of sus shit that yeah, I would get every really worried time about. And then he'd he make me bad. feel crazy thinking that I'm, like... Why would you think that? Why would you think I'm cheating on you? And, but, like, obviously, like, he was. So yeah, like, like I said, the only reason why I said it, I, I'm coming out to you as a person, is because I told him, I said, I, because he stopped talking to me for a good amount of weeks. And I'm like, oh, okay, so you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be in my life because Dana's not in your life anymore. And I was just a part of, you know, you cheating on her, right? So he never reached back out to me. And I reached out to him and I said, so who's going to tell her? Because I was like, it's either going to be you or me. And he, he kind of panicked and I was on a live stream call and on my um, Instagram and I was about, I was live on 30 minutes just ranting and he kept blowing my phone up like 10, 15 calls saying, pick up, pick up, pick up. And I'm like, bro, like chill, like I'm going to call you back. So I pick up the call and he's like, I'd love to tell you what I'm doing to, um, you know, better myself as a human and like what I'm going to do for Dana and what, who I'm going to apologize for Alex. Yeah. So talking about earlier. So this is the, the so, (laughs) yeah, so this is the phone call. This is, this is after every, this is, all this has happened. He went on his way to Michigan. He went on his way to Michigan. We were on the phone for two and a half hours. Yeah, that's her, everyone. Yeah. And (laughs) he told me that, um, he was gonna, he promised me so much. He promised me that he was going to go to your family and apologize for what a terrible person he he was. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's one thing he did. Up. And still fucked and up. And still did stuff after apologizing to them and to me. So he still did it after. So he did apologize. But but he, he still never, never brought her. you up okay. in this Well, situation. okay. So he and I told him her. and I said, and I said, okay, so who's going to say something? Is it going to be me or you? And you, he goes, I don't care. Just tell her. I don't care. Like, I'm going to tell her anyways. Obviously, he didn't say anything. And that's why I reached out to you. Because it's so annoying. Because, well, yeah, I know no, what I did. is. didn't she reach out to you? Yeah, because I saw a comment. She did. Of her commenting on TikTok with another girl, and she goes, You move on fast. And, I, oh, yeah, and yeah, I've yeah. been known her for a little bit, and I text her, and I'm like, Hey, thanks for hyping me so up. So she didn't even know at that time so, either. But yeah. why didn't you tell her? Like I said, I was protecting Hack, okay? But- I was protecting him because I thought he was this sweet kid i thought he was genuine i thought he was cool i thought he was i thought you were the bad person right i i didn't know you like that and that's why i feel so bad because i'm learning this is a mistake i made obviously like i i you know i'm almost 23 years old and this should never Mm -hmm. be this should not be made ever again like it wasn't worth it like what is me hooking up with him like that doesn't prove, like, what does that do? Like, it's, yeah. I'm, like, what is a hookup? Like, over, like, girls supporting girls. Like, I'm always for girls supporting girls, and for what I did is so fucked up, you know? And I admit that, and that's why, you know, when I, when you had came, reached out to me, I apologized, because I was with Steph, you know, the day before, and I said, what do you think of And she's like, or no, I asked, I, I was like, how do you think Dana's doing and stuff? And she told me, she's like, I, I think she's moving on, and, you know, she's trying to be positive and all this stuff, and I'm like, I think I need to tell her, She's like, I think I would if I were you. And that's when you had reached out to me the next day. It was like meant to be. It was like you reached out and I was like, I'm going to tell her. Because I think you should know because it's a part of closure is yeah. knowing everything this guy did to you. So you'll never speak to him or never get back with him again. Also, before you do ask questions, two things. You should explain the time that all three of us were together at the Halloween party when he came back. When y'all came to our Halloween party. Remember, and it was like me, you, and Victor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, do you want to explain how awkward (laughs) or, like, that situation, what was going on with that part? So that was weird. So every event that we went to that you were at, he never gave any slight of, like, hey, Kristen, like, what's up? Like, he would just be kind of weird and act like he didn't know me. And actually, that night, I hooked up with someone else. And the day before the Halloween party, he asked me what I was going to wear to the party. So I showed him. He's like, oh, yeah, cute. Your butt looks good, whatever. I'm like, okay, bet. Like, what are you going to dress up? He's like, oh, I don't know. Like, we have a bunch of... He even brought you up. He's like, we have a bunch of outfits in mind that we might do. And I'm like, oh, okay. So okay. he did talk about you. But again, it didn't seem as if you guys were... I, I also... It, it also ran through my mind that you may have an open relationship. And that's what I... And I probably should have asked you. But it just felt like... 
something was off. I don't know if it was an open relationship. I don't know if you were the bad person. I don't know. There, obviously, there's something wrong with him for him to do this with many girls when you stood by his side and loved and cared for him. You yeah, know? 100%. It's, it's really sad. And at the end of the day, he's just not, he's young. He's, mm -hmm. he's 19 years old. And that's another thing that pissed me off about him. He would always lie and tell me he's 22 years old. I'm like, Jack, you're what? not that. You're literally 19 years old, bro. Like, why are you lying? Like, I don't know. He'd lie about everything, every little thing. Like, and he team. also told me on the phone call, he told me, he said, I just thought, oh, he told me he was going to stop OnlyFans. And then, you know, a week later, I see his OnlyFans page and he's making like porn videos with these girls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what the, like, what is going on? Like, and also, he told me, he's like, that's not me. That's not me. I'm trying to clean my image. And then he does this. Like, what? No, that's what we were saying, too. We were like, what the fuck? And then also the Banyel Bowen situation. The what? The Banyel Bowen. What is it? What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Danielle Bowen. Oh, yeah, oh, Danielle was... Bowen. <laughs> okay, okay, either one, but yeah. okay. So that was another weird thing, and um, you know, when I had met um, that day, this was the day this happened. So he was with Danielle, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, they left the rave for a good amount of time. And I don't know, one of my friends was like, oh, they went to dinner. And I'm like thinking like, dinner don't take like six hours. Like what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And then he had posted that video, I think the day after of them, like two friends sitting in a chair, right? Yeah, it was like that trend. Kissing, yeah. yeah, and then I was like, okay, this is weird. It was like almost like he wanted you to know he was cheating. Like it's like yeah. he wanted to post, even did you see that video he posted? Like, um, like a, he was basically admitting to like, um, you come and you were, you said something oh, um, the, just like, recently. People who don't cheat. Yeah, and then he ran away. Like, why are you like posting like, like and on top of he's not admitting to what he did, which is even more fucked up. Like, I don't know why you can't just say yeah, he cheated Yeah, and then you're, he, she, they both commented on it and they both of them did and was all like, yeah, he cheated. And then he goes, these are false accusations. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like um, how? We have like, we have like evidence, like yeah. screenshots. Like, I don't. And then to bring up all this more, once I, like, because I posted on my spam account just, like, screenshots that she sent me, like, little ones here and there, and once that was posted, three other girls DM me saying, here's all of my screenshots, here's us fucking during this time, here's us, him trying to come over and fuck me, and sent me all of these screenshots, all these dates, and then I remember when he posted, then he posted that TikTok, and he was all like, it's so easy not to cheat on your girlfriend, and then yeah. I was like, oh, really? Boom, 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 yeah. boom. All these screenshots, all these receipts. Like, I don't know why it's like, for me, like I'm admitting to my mistake and I'm coming forward. Like, I don't know why he can't just admit his mistakes and move on with his life. Yeah. Like for the, for like, if he ever wants to be in a relationship, better yourself for the next girl that you love. You know, exactly. like why, why are you trying to like say it's false accusations when there's so much evidence? You yeah. Know? <laughs> it's like. Because then so I was because she was first one to tell me, and then once these other girls were sending me shit, I would send it to her right away. I was like, bruh, it's, look at how yeah. many girls are coming through right now. Like, Do you think that if she didn't reach out to you in that DM that you would have reached out to her at some yeah, point? Yeah, I would. Actually, and that's because, yes, because right now, every, single, every single month there was something inside me saying, like, this is so fucked up what you're doing. Because I, I knew how sweet she was, and you guys would always invite me to these parties, and, like, we would see each other, and I was like, she's such a sweetheart. And then I was like, but there's something about that I like I liked him so much like I I thought he would leave Dana for me right and it's like obviously that didn't happen he was doing it to multiple girls and it sucks and even on the phone call he told me that he was gonna better himself and that he bought a book did and he that, have like another snapchat or like how, yeah he like, had he how had because um, on his main snapchat he would post I know he would post 700 pictures of her on his story so they so, had you had to know they were dating like so, I'm not trying to say it in like a mean way but yeah. like it, I would admit like if I was on the other side like you had to have known they were so, such yeah. a social media couple. Right. Everybody knew they were together. Right. So at first, I didn't know they were together. And eventually, yes, I did find out they were together. Um, but again, there was something in the back of my mind that was, I like him and I know it's fucked up what I'm doing, but I'm going to pursue what I'm trying to get at him. Like, I wanted to be with him, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I thought he was a sweet kid. And, you know, and then it's, I don't know, it's just, it's a lot. So yeah, I did. I did eventually find out that they were dating and I thought it was fucked up what I did. Um, and this is like this is like your first time doing this, right? To like yeah, like and this is a huge step for me as like a person too because I like two years ago would never have just come on here and just been like yeah I fucked up like I would have never done this like 
you know, I always say at the end of the day, like, girls should always support girls. Like, it should never be about a dude. You know, it's like, who gives it? Yeah. Like, who cares? Like, that, that was a that's one. That's what I wanted to like, say, too, is like, all, fuck for what he no. did. But, like, do you feel bad for what you did to her? Like, oh, yeah, it's no. Like, that's that's the whole reason here, why I'm yeah, here. Yeah. She sat here for, like, two years believing every word he said. And then on those nights where he was screaming about her being an inconsiderate right. bitch, he was hanging out with you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. And you thought that he wasn't getting attention in reality. Right. He was making her cry in her bedroom. Right. So it's like, and I, it's and like, like I said, like, <laughs> fuck this kid. <laughs> Honestly, and I do. I feel very bad, and I'm sorry for what I did. I, you know, like I said, I never saw that side, right? I, and you guys posted as if you guys were this perfect couple. Yeah. You guys had no issues, but there was one month, and it was, you know, the month before you guys had officially broke up. I found your spam page. I went down the whole page, and I went, holy shit, this girl's going through shit. And I was like, maybe it's, she's talking about her like, you know, relationships in the past. I didn't think it was about I was like, there's no way that this can be about Like, how could he be doing these types of things to her? Um, and I was like, that's, I just didn't seem like him. But now that you guys are saying all this shit, like that's it's fucked up. Like I would have never thought he would have screamed like inconsiderate bitch to you or, you know, you know, screamed in your face. Like that doesn't seem like him, you know? And like, I never saw that, like I said. So oh, that's- yeah. He really was very sad. emotionally abusive, like one of the worst boyfriends like I've had, and I've had five of them. Like, and I'm cool with all of them, mm -hmm. with all of my exes, except for like we don't talk like that, but we're cool, more civil. Like I could literally say hi and buy them, except for my very first boyfriend, mm -hmm. and so that says a lot. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Is like, <laughs> like no, <nah>, like. <laughs> Yeah, and it just, it sucks that I felt like I was the only one. Like, I don't know why I believe that. It's kind of fucked up I believe that. I was like, oh, yeah, it's just me. Like, who the fuck would believe that? But obviously, there was multiple other bitches. And that almost makes me feel like shit, too, because it's like, oh, it wasn't just me. It was multiple other people, you know? And I thought I was special, and I wasn't, you know? And so, yeah, he, he, um... Yeah, and like I said, he said he was going to tell you and and never did. So I, you know, wanted to be the one to say something because he was never going to say Hell no, nah, he doesn't have the balls to do fucking shit. I mean, look, he th he's still trying to say that he hasn't cheated on me at all. So I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like, while we're here, girls, let's tell them, because this is basically our podcast, Better yeah. Big Sisters, is like being the support team, being yeah. a big sister to those who don't have sisters. So what could you tell to a girl in your position to yeah. go tell that other girl go get out of that situation yeah. don't be that person yeah. to think mm -hmm. you're special but be that other like yeah. do you have advice to the people that are going to listen like how the way that he did make you feel i'm yeah. not going to take that away from you because right. you probably did feel that way I did, but yeah how, how, what could you tell them to make it so they know that that's not a good thing and you right. know that you're not going to do it again to someone right. else because of the way it made her feel. Right. Yeah. And now finding out all yes. this shit, you know. So, it's... like, what could you, what advice could you give them to, like, what, to tell them, tell the girl, like, mm -hmm. immediately. Like, how to, like, them. not be in that trap. I would honestly just say don't trust anyone. I am a firm believer in not trusting in people. Um, also, men aren't worth you know, and my sexual, I'm, I'm pansexual, so I like all, you know, but I, I think that me liking a man and instead of supporting a girl, um, it's kind of fucked up. It's kind of like, like, hoe oh, me, like I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, I would just say, you know, support, you know, girls should always support girls, never trust anyone and be the bigger person and confront the person uh, step up about what's first. going on step up first. Yeah. be that person to step into the shoes like yeah as soon as you realize what you're doing wrong like be that person i've done st stuff wrong in the past too yeah. in, both, in many relationships like i've li i'll literally sit here right here and say that i cheated on someone before like mm -hmm. i have 100 yeah. percent. i don't know if you have mm -hmm. like i know she hasn't but like i have and i feel really bad about it and i would never do it again in my life but i'll admit to it and i know and I could give 900 reasons of why you shouldn't do it now. Right. And I'm so against it. Yeah. Like, that's the most important part. Step up. Tell the person. Tell whoever you're with. If you're the one who cheated, you tell the person. If you're the one that they cheated with and you know, tell, tell the fucking person. Yeah. Like, don't let the fucking... Don't yeah. let per someone look dumb. All because they're for, making you feel yeah, special. Yeah, don't let... Because what are you going to do? Feel special for five minutes? And then what happened after they broke up? Yeah. Like, <laughs> has, <laughs> has he talked to you since? No. 
no. And now we're sitting here in a right. room in a podcast right. because this one motherfucking piece of shit right. had control over most of your guys' and Emotions. my brain. Also, the girl before you literally came to you and told you she warned your ass. Yeah. <laughs> she warned. So the girl before even warned her, to be honest. Yeah, so there was, there was two girls know. that he had things left and they came to me up at parties and said, do not. Yeah, they chat. warned. They warned her. <laughs> you were with them for two years. Uh, we were talking for like six months and we're together for like a year. That's yeah. like so... No, because there's like two year ago memories that were coming up of him and like Ava, you know? So True. he was like literally in your life. It was for, like two years yeah, or two, two and a years. half. Like he was, and he went on, he went on all of her brand deal trips for free. You know, all those times he went to Vegas mm-hmm. for Wish. That was because he was her because plus her. one. He wasn't, so it wasn't him as a creator. I almost felt like he kind of used you, you know, for like publicity or clout yeah, 100%. or, you know, 100%. money 100%. or, you know, something he, like that. He might have not, uh, first of all, mm-hmm. viewed it as using, like he might have liked her at first, but <laughs> of course when he got into LA and the whole mm-hmm. LA mindset is what fucked him in the ass. Because when we explained it, before mm-hmm. like before you came in mm-hmm. here he was quiet shy didn't talk wow. barely could hold a conversation mm-hmm. would sleep with me slept with me in the same bed for like two weeks straight without touching me because mm-hmm. he was like scared and then oh, when we would you fuck, probably took his virginity that's what i'm saying it's oh, like and then, he, then when we finally fucked it was like really awkward and terrible and he didn't know how to use his hips or anything right. So I was like, uh, you gotta like, you know, and I remember I asked his two best friends, they probably remember this, I was like, is a virgin? And they started laughing, I'm like, I'm being dead ass, like, is is he? Like, I don't care, like, I don't care about that, but I'm just wondering, because I, like, low-key had a teacher on a fuck last night, (laughs) and they were, like, laughing, and, you know, just the guys, but that's what I'm saying, and so I don't know how he became this, like, sweet, little, quiet, innocent, would barely even talk, awkward, to, like... And if she was treating him, like, so bad, like, how you say, like, he was, like... You know, or if she was like how he said, he mm-hmm. said to you, then why was he buying her Louis Vuitton wallets and Louis Vuitton? So I actually thought that he was using her money to do that. No, he would it was buy, his money. yes. Okay, because I assumed that, that it was shit. her money. No, okay. he would buy that shit for her actual presence. Like, yeah, we were lost. Like, because like, I'm not, I'm not like a designer. My, um, what is it? My love language is not gifting. His definitely is. Like, I just know his is. Mine is like, oh, sorry, I'm going to interrupt. He would always tell me, he would always be like, are you going to be my sugar mama? (laughs) What? Yes. He would always be like, are you going to be my sugar mama? I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? Like, like, are you going to like buy me stuff? What? Yeah. That's why I thought that you were the one that was giving him a bunch of shit, like giving him gifts and yeah. No, he was the one buying like her everything. He would like literally send like chocolate strawberries to the house like three days in a row when he was on trips yeah i'm saying like well he was fucking other girls but sending me flowers and chocolates (laughs) like what the fuck (laughs) no like yeah he his love language is gift giving and mine is not and like i was like oh thank you but you know it's just like i'm like like it's nice but i'm like you don't have to buy me these expensive things if that makes sense right and i was always like what what is he doing? Like, what yeah. is he getting the shit from? But he would joke. I mean, not even joke. He'd just be like, oh, and then he was like, we can make a lot of money together. And I'm like, what do you mean? This was honestly probably, it was the same month that you guys were going, you were trying to work things out, I guess, um, or whatever. And he said, we could make so much money together on OF. And I'm like, oh, like, ha. you know, I was like, laughed. I laughed it off. And he was like, no, I'm serious. I was like, okay. And that's when he had brought up the thing when I was at his house and he was like, are you going to suck all our dicks on camera? I'm like, bro, like, this is not why I'm here. Like, I don't know what you think I am. Obviously, maybe he did think I was a hoe for what I was doing with him, but come on, bro. Like, am I going to suck all five, 10 guys in the same room? No. Like, get the fuck, like, what the fuck? No. That's like on some weird shit. Like I this that's like on some like <laughs> He's like, that's not why I invited you over. I'm like, okay, so why am I here? Like he was like, Yeah, pull up baby, like uh, and you know, he was like fucked up and I was like, Nah, you're drunk. He's like, No, I'm not, I'm not. And then his friend's like, No, he's not, he's not. And I pull up and he's gagging himself. Quote unquote his friends that all claim to not know that he cheated on me. What the fuck? I mean, they weren't in the same room when we were doing things, so maybe they actually don't know, but you know, they, they never... But they saw you walk in and that... Oh, yeah. 
They, they, they should probably should have said something. That yeah. night on that bowling night, uh-huh. I literally FaceTimed all of them and they were all together. And I said, do you guys want to come to my best friend's house tonight? Because uh-huh. I was going, I was in Laguna, Irvine. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, Laguna. And then they were like, like, no, we're going bowling with the boys. So they all knew that we were obviously still together. If I'm FaceTiming, I'm saying, babe, come, come to my friend's house. So that's why I'm like, oh, okay. And that's why I thought he did hook up with me because he never really did anything with me. And I kept saying like, I don't know why you're sexting me when you won't actually hang out with me in person. It just didn't make sense. Like, obviously, yeah, both is cheating, but it was just weird. I was like, okay, so are we going to hang out? He's like, uh, he would also come over for like three minutes. Okay. So he, there was this one time he came to my apartment and it was literally for three minutes. And I think he was with, um, Video, you know, one of your video creators or directors. Um, Micah May. Yeah. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'm with Micah in the car, but I, I can only stay here for a little bit. I only, I told him I was doing like NFT shit. I'm like, okay. So he comes over, looks at all my sex Wait, so toys. Micah didn't go in. No. And Micah thought it was like a business deal. Yeah. He thought it was like an NFT thing. And um, so am I gonna know? No, no my, but I told Micah now he knows. Yeah, so he didn't know. No, I don't think he knew at all. Cause no, he I found lied. out that night based off the text. Uh-huh. And I remember they came over right after that and bought me ice cream and they both came over to my house. And I go, Mike, I swear to God, if you look up a snap memory on this date and it's the night you brought me ice cream, I'm gonna kill you. And then he sent me a screenshot of him getting ice cream with oh, yeah, no, he, over. Yeah, he didn't. Know. And I'm like, I'm like, you know that he went to a bitch's house that night? And he goes, I swear he didn't. I swear. He just had a business deal. And I go, yeah. uh-uh, this yeah, so is what that's happened. The yeah, so he was, he was there for, like I said, three minutes, looked at my drawer of sex toys, and then he was like, I only came over because you say that I never pull up and come through. Like, he wanted to, like, keep me on edge that he was going to eventually, like, be with me, if that makes sense. Like, he got in my mind being like, see, I pulled through for you. Like, you know, like, I care. Like, you know, you know and then he had to leave. You know, and I'm like, okay. And then came into my house and gave me ice cream. And then there was and times. And I'm like, you're so sweet for bringing me ice cream. As he's like at another girl's house right before. There's, there was times as well. He would delete me on Snapchat when he was with you. And I kept saying, stop doing this. I was like, if you're going to, I was like, you know what we did? We did like, let's stop doing it. And you can pursue Dana. Like it is what it is. And he would continue to re-add me. I don't know if you guys had gotten in a fight or something. He would re-add me every other week. And I'm like, we got to, I was like, you need to stop doing this. Like, stop adding me. I don't want, I don't want to keep doing this. And then he kind of pulled me in again. And I'm like, okay. I was like, so it just was like an ongoing cycle of deleting me, adding me, deleting me, adding me. What are you doing today? Like all this shit. And even when I was in Vegas, he was like, so what are you doing today? I'm like, I'm in Vegas. He's like, oh, so what are you doing today? Like, I'm like, dude, I'm in Vegas. Like, and then, yeah, it was just, it didn't make sense. Like, he was just always asking what I was doing, but he would never pull through. Like, he mm-hmm. would only sex. Like, I don't know. Like, why did you need to do that? Yeah. Like, I don't. Like, what is sexting doing? Like, if you're going to sex, go fuck the person. I mean, I know that sounds fucked up, but it's like, what? Know. what is sexting That's, doing? You know, it's on some weird shit. Like, like that and then, so, yeah, he did have another Snapchat. He had a, a private Snapchat for OnlyFans. So he started talking to me on that one as well. But then he never saved. The, I I should have saved the chats, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, he did have another Snapchat. I don't know if you knew about it. I did know about it, but he told me that his sugar daddies were on there. So <laughs> I cannot. Yeah, and he told me he was like, yeah, like I moved. To, he did admit. He said, yeah, when I moved to LA, I just got a bunch of money and I got clout and fame, and I just thought that I was just this rich, cool kid, and it, it ruined me. And so that's kind of interesting that you said that he was, you know, quiet, sweet kid, because in a way, LA did ruin him. Um, I don't know how he was before, but, mm-hmm. you know, he did admit to how LA has changed him um, and that he was going to become a better person. But in my eyes, after he came back from Michigan, he became actually worse than he was before. But at the same time, I hate that quote where it's like L.A. changes someone. It's like, no, only you change because you choose who you surround yourself with and you choose your actions, what you do every day. We've been in L.A. for three years and like, mm-hmm. I, I think changed. the only change that mm-hmm. has happened, like we've definitely changed, but well, in smarter. good ways. Yeah. Like we're smarter, like we know to not trust certain people anymore. Yeah. Like it's, you have to, L.A. does change you, but it yeah. only changes you if you do it in the wrong way. Like right. you have to just be smart about how you do it. But yeah, yeah and like, oh, and weird. so I made a TikTok confronting him. And uh, yeah, so he unfollowed me on TikTok. I was like, oh, like, oh you unfollowed me. Like, it was funny because I was calling him out. Yeah. And like, e- even me calling him out, he didn't admit to it. Like, people are calling you out and you're not admitting. 
I actually. Well, hopefully this podcast makes him actually like. Yeah. Wake something. up because you're yeah. here and she's here. You guys are oh, sitting no, and, next yeah, to Oh, no. Yeah. And I wanted to make a TikTok too and post yeah. it so that it, he could see it. You and, know, I'll be like. And if you want to come out, um, hack and say that anything's not true. We have timestamps and we have screenshots. Literally. And we have the From time, four different the girls, not just one. With the screenshot that you could I'm sure there's more. And then there's the yeah. time there. Like you, like there's proof. There's hard on paper, on not on paper, on phone proof. Like we could send you the screenshots if you want to see them too. But I'm sure you already did see them because like, it's on your talking. phone. <laughs> also, I forgot. We forgot to mention that we found his Tinder that was like verified in the middle of them dating. That he had a Tinder, wow. so, and I called him out for it. And he goes, "Why the fuck how would he, goes, he be on a dating app?" He goes, to get "How drugs. am I gonna get my drugs? I'm on the guy side of Tinder to find my drug dealers." I'm like, oh, no. uh, keep in mind, I don't do drugs. And then, I literally quit nicotine three weeks ago. I barely drink and I'm allergic to weed. So why does he need to do drugs? No idea. And there's no a idea. girl. Um, oh, wait, sorry. I want to pause you there. He also told me he kept trying to force me, not force me, but he would always be like, let's take psychedelics together. Let's have a high psychedelic trip. It'll be so nice. And I'm like thinking in the back of my head, like, bro, I don't do drugs, but he wanted to like try psychedelics with me and i'm like bro like i don't do drugs like that i don't even smoke well that's weed. on like, like a one other level you don't even do psychedelics it's people that so like yeah that. and like, yeah. i don't understand <laughs> like, what? like what the fuck is this kid bro i don't even know him i literally don't know him because of how many lies that he told it's like and all this stuff that's coming up it's like what's true about yeah. him like i literally don't know like i honestly don't know him like he's so much of a stranger to me i think that's why i'm not really that phased by it because it's like i don't know him like at all there's nothing real about him there's nothing real about anything for real yeah that other girl the the how we found his tinder was the girl from sacramento yeah he matched with a girl from sacramento who sent us his tinder so if he was trying to find drug dealers on the boy side of tiktok why yeah. was he matched with a girl from sacramento so when was that I literally, she brought, she has a screenshot with the date on it, but it was fully when we were dating, and I made a TikTok out of it, too, as a joke. I, I wished that you had spoken out um, on your your big page, because, you know, I would have popped up on my For You page, and I would have known what you were going through, and I know you have that spam page, but it took me months to find that, and I really... But the really, thing is, is I don't like talking about, like my personal stuff yeah. online unless if they also, like also some of the truly... happiest couples online are really right. like the and worst you guys look so happy planet. yeah so it's because yeah, i don't like... like posting stuff if like we're working on things and we're right. doing stuff unless if someone truly hurts me and i deserve to like put it out there and let other girls know and be warned about a guy because like like i said we're making we broke up like four months ago mm -hmm. right three months fuck in january mm -hmm. and it's like march almost april now have you spoke to him since Fuck no, fuck that fool. <laughs> Other than like when we were trying to like get back together and then all this came out. But ever since all this came out, no. But pretty much like when we broke up, we were on good terms. And I was like, okay, we're going to part ways. We're going to be on good terms. Like we, we can talk as friends. We kind of like almost got back together. And then like he had some other fuck shit go on. But pretty much like I had no reason to talk bad about him. Even though all the stuff we did do, we did, he did come and apologize. He like talked things out. But now that all this is coming up, I'm like, hell no. Like, you, no matter what you say or do, like, you did all of this stuff while trying to apologize to me and do all this stuff. It's like, I want other girls to know this only because I don't want them to go through something like this. And I want them to see the signs. And also, Bro. anyone that wants to pursue him knows yeah. what he yeah. did. Also, leave... Leave. <laughs> Leave. I know. Leave. Like, once you see one red flag, which is yeah. what I'm doing. No, now, seriously. Once you see one see ya. Yeah, one red flag, once they do one thing wrong, like, I, I used it won't to put get up better. with so much shit, and now I have a girlfriend, and literally, we talk everything, we communicate everything. I, don't, I trust her with, like, mm -hmm. everything she's doing, and just having that kind of relationship versus all the relationships I've had in the past, and, like, hearing what this did like those relationships are possible like relationships are possible where people are not lying to you yeah. cheating on you like doing all these things so don't block yourself out of like love as soon as this happens like i dana is not like blocking herself off from like finding someone new or like mm -hmm. having that spot open she's still she's more naive yeah, she's, she's more careful yes mm -hmm. now she knows what to look out for and next the next guy that comes around she knows that the first red flag to leave and i hope you know that too yeah, for sure. through this yeah. situation too mm -hmm. like the first red flag and like stuff like that 
you know to leave. You know not like as do soon you, as some of them. I, I actually do have a question because you're on the other side that I am. Do you mm-hmm. think it would be almost more harder for you to trust someone than me because you were on yeah. the other side? No, for and sure. You, like yeah. no, 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 for like, sure. Because I'm like looking at him like he has one of the best girls in the world loving him and caring for him. And I'm like looking at him like cheat on someone that I didn't care about him like that. Like I didn't do things like that. Like the things that you were doing for him, I didn't do that. All I gave him was like affection on the phone. Like what the fuck is that compared to the things that you've done for him? So yes, it is. And I've already, I've had so much trust issues in the past already so just seeing this, like everything that's happened, it just makes me more afraid to date here in Los Angeles. I would be open to doing it in a different state only because <laughs> I've had relationships be successful. And like, I'm from Texas originally and I had two, three strong relationships there and nothing like this has ever happened. And coming to California and Los Angeles, everyone wants to fuck each other. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's so hard to find uh, serious relationships here. I don't understand. Yeah. And it's amazing that you found a girlfriend. Yeah. Well, you know? she... Um... She's from Orange County, so she's kind of not on okay, social so media. I, I think she doesn't do I, social media. Yeah. Oh, see, I that's don't another think that's people on, I don't know. Social, you have to be really... Like, social media just... You have to be really careful with social media people. And But this I'm is a saying... podcast that we're talking about next week. Fact, fact, fact. <laughs> so we can't get too deep I'm into sorry, it. I'm not going to talk about we'll, it. We'll get deep into this next week in our next podcast, which yeah, will be coming true. out. Thank you guys for listening. If you're a hack, um, you know what you did. And basically that... We and if you're you. going through any problems or anything, please put questions down in the comments below yeah. and let us know. We will talk about those topics and yeah, let that us you guys know. need help with. Any story times that you guys want to send us, we'll read aloud and then give you our input on it. Mm-hmm. That too. Our TikTok is Better Big Sisters and our Instagram, Instagram, and Instagram is Better Big Sisters and our YouTube is Better Big Sisters. All three are all just Better Big Sisters. So... We're going to start posting on there a lot more, and we're going to start posting every week and talking to you guys and bothering you guys. So, yeah, can't wait, but well, thank, thank you, you for, watching. for listening and watching. Woo! We love you guys. Bye. <laughs>